Monday the 8th of February 2010 and today's walk is uh, from Gomshaw in the Surrey Hills as shown from the uh, station sign of Guildford. In contrast to last week we have a great Sound might be an issue today. Interesting platform this. I'm on platform two, which is diagonally opposite platform one over there. And apparently uh, this station was planted here because about 100 years ago the landlord of the pub paid everybody with a free pint to stand down at the area where he wanted the platform built. So hence we have this platform here very pleasant scenery. Today's walk is book one, walk 14, again from London Bridge. Uh, today's a bit of a later start simply because the trains were later running. Couldn't get the first train out till 10.48. So uh, yeah, it's almost 12 o'clock now. But as it's nine and a half miles, should be done by four-ish, so no problem. Anyway, let's get over to the other platform and on. Fifteen or so minutes in, and I'm now on the Sheer Parish Millennium Trail. Headed towards that church there. Still snowing. Not very heavily, though. Now on the outskirts of Shear, this is St James's Church, and that's the uh, village ahead of me. Famous for its 15th and 16th century buildings, apparently. Soon find out. Very pleasant little village this is, Shear. Now walking through the park, wind's picking up. Lovely big over there. There's this bench presented to Auntie Mary and Uncle Leo. Half past twelve. I'll probably hold out until I get into the forest before having my lunch. About an hour's time, I think. Just about to enter this pine forest, and I'm back on the Fox Way. A walk I believe I was doing the other week. Can't remember where. This is uh, the Hacking Centre. Sorry, Hacking Centre. clear evidence of that, and I believe this is a place called Albury Common. It's getting greyer now. The sky is getting more precipitous, or full of precipitation, better probably. <laughs> now in the pine woods of Black Heath. Still in Blackheath, but now the uh, woodlands have changed to very old birch. Very pleasant walking. Sleep, come snow, very peaceful and quiet. Delightful. Temperature's just right as well. Still in Blackheath following this kind of Roman road, straight as an arrow, back in again amongst the pines again. I 
I'm headed up that way. Hopefully uh, we'll discover that pub very shortly. I won't be using that, but uh, the facility's nearby. Half past one now and I'm starving. Well, according to this, Black Heat Common is an SSI, Site of Special Scientific Interest, uh, and has sand lizard and night jar in there somewhere. Very rare species. Anyway, snow or sleet's getting heavier now. It's lunchtime. I'm in uh, the Black Heath village, so hopefully they'll find that pub shortly. Favoured lunch spot is once again a pub picnic area. Sleet is absolutely chucking it down. This is the villagers on Blackheath. Just had me lunch. Selection of uh, Marks and Spencer's tuna and sweet corn sandwiches. Grapes to start with, followed by a couple of bourbon biscuits to finish off. Replenished delightfully now, so I must press on. On the outskirts of the village of Chilworth, and the woodlands more traditional now, as is the uh, footpath off the green sand and onto normal, muddier conditions. The sleet is now turning more to rain as I get lower down. Right, according to this information board, the Downs link, which I'm now following, obviously links the North and South Downs. 32 mile long, with, uh, well, follows much of a, a railway line closed by Beeching in 66. Seems to start up near um, St Martha's Church, finish down near Bramber, Stenning. My friend Richard Hill's, I'm uh, oh, sorry, Pat Sider's hometown. Another week and I'm back next to the River Way, accompanied by this swan who seems a bit interested in me for my liking. I think I'd better move away. The Way and Aran Junction Canal, which is currently being restored, uh, and I'm next to a little footbridge. Clear evidence here of what used to be a railway line, I presume. The, uh, no the North Downs, South Downs link. Ahead of me there, the road. Still sleeting very heavily. Now entering the National Trust Riverway navigation. And I'm at a place called Stonebridge Wharf. Not so far from Guildford now. X marks a spot there on the map. This little bit of uh, footpath is called the Way South Path, W-E-Y. National Trust River Way Navigations Railway Line Walk. Interestingly, there's a pillbox up there. Strange place to have one. Out on that uh, marshy area there, just seen a busted type bird. Must check that out when I get home. Not sure what it was. Looked like a large cross between a busted and a pheasant and a, well, a partridge, I guess. Don't know. Must check it out. Alan Cattle are well at home in this weather. Still next to the old canal. So the lock here is called St Catherine's Lock. Opened in 1764. Shallowest lock on the way by all accounts. The 
now in Guildford uh, and at the Millmead Lock, opened in 1764. First rock on the Godalming Navigation. Now back in Guildford, very pleasant walk that was as well. So book one, walk 14 completed. Rather grey day, sleet and snow, quite cold, but uh, nevertheless, very good walk. Now I've got to get back on this train with all these school kids. Can't get away from them.